It's Friday morning, welcome to morning prayer. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Let your ways be known upon earth, your saving power among the nations. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation, to you be praise and glory for ever. As a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, your only Son was lifted up, that he might draw the whole world to himself. May we walk this day in the way of the cross, and always be ready to share its weight, declaring your love for all the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. The psalm today is 126. When the Lord restores the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with songs of joy. When they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has indeed done great things for us, and therefore we rejoiced. Restore again our fortunes, O Lord, as the river beds of the desert. Those who sow in tears shall reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, bearing the seed, will come back with shouts of joy, bearing their sheaves with them. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The canticle is a song of the Lord's gracious deeds. I will recount the gracious deeds of the Lord, the praises of the Most High. Who is this that comes from Edom, coming from Bosra, his garments stained its crimson? Who is this in glorious apparel, marching in the greatness of his strength? It is I who announces that right has won the day. It is I, says the Lord, for I am mighty to save. Why are your robes all red, O Lord, and your garments like theirs who tread the winepress? I have trodden the winepress alone, and from the peoples no one was with me. I will recount the gracious deeds of the Lord, the praises of the Most High, all that God has done for us in his mercy by his many acts of love. For God said, Surely they are my people, my children who will not deal falsely and he became their saviour in all their distress. So God redeemed them by his love and pity. He lifted them up and carried them through all the days of old. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. I will recount the gracious deeds of the Lord, the praises of the Most High. The reading is from John's Gospel, chapter 12, starting at verse 20. Now among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew, and then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly, I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life will lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honour. Now my soul is troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, it is for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and said that it was thunder. Others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, this voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die. The crowd answered him, We have heard from the law that the Messiah remains forever. 
How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? Jesus said to them, The light is with you for a little longer. Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. If you walk in the darkness, you do not know where you are going. While you have the light, believe in the light, so that you may become children of light. Here ends the reading. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross you have redeemed the world. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. We preach Christ crucified, the power of God and the wisdom of God. By your holy cross you have redeemed the world. God forbid that I should glory, save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The Benedictus. The word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to those who are being saved it is the power of God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to those who are being saved, it is the power of God. And so we pray. Father God, we pray this morning for the royal family. We pray for our armed forces. We pray for those who work in the emergency services. We pray for all those who put their lives in danger in order to support and look after other people within the community. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world. Grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Standing at the foot of the cross, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who bore our sins on the cross, set us free to serve him with joy. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>